Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project online bookstore. So first let us extract the zipped file. So we can see that the file is extracting and the folder has been created. Now let us open this folder. So in the folder you can find there are four zipped files. Among these we have to extract the source code and database backup. So we can see that the folders are extracting now. So once it is done, let us open the source code folder. So in this you can find all the PHP files and the folders which are required to run the project. And in the database backup, we can find the SQL file online bookstore. Now let us copy this source code folder and let's paste this in the C drive. So open the C drive. In the C drive, open XAMPP and open HDDocs and paste it here. So this is because I have installed XAMPP control panel in the C drive. So in whichever drive you are going to install the XAMPP control, control panel, there you have to paste this particular folder. So the copying has been done and we can view all the PHP files here. Now let us copy the name of the file source code and let's start XAMPP control panel in which Apache and MySQL server. So we can see that the two servers are running now. And let us open the Chrome browser and type localhost slash php my admin. So php my admin will open the MySQL database. So this is the MySQL database server. We are clicking on databases. Here we can create the database name. So since we already have the database, let us create the same database name that is online bookstore. So click on create. So this will create the database name. Now for this we have to create the tables. But since we already have the complete database, let us import the database. So click on import and click on choose file. So from the database backup, we are selecting the file online bookstore, which is a SQL file and then click on go. So this will import the tables and the data, whatever is there in the file online bookstore so it will take some time depending on the size of the file so here the import is successful and you can view the different tables so by clicking on the database name we can uh, view the structure of the database that is there are 10 tables now let us open the new tab and let us open our project that is you have to type localhost slash and paste the name what you have copied earlier that is source code the folder name source code you have to paste here so this is the project online bookstore so here the viewer or the customers can view various books of different categories and the book categories can be viewed and category wise the books can be viewed and the booksellers can publish various different categories of books and the viewers can also view the books based on the authors. If they like different authors, then they can select the particular author and based on that also they can view the various books. So admin is the one who manages the entire web page. Since admin is the one who manages the entire web page, now let us log in as the admin. The admin must log in using the login ID and the password and here the default login ID is admin and the password is admin admin admin. So the admin dashboard is available to view. Under view customers the admin can view the different customers and in add new book admin can add the new books. We are not going to add the books here because we will add it under the different publications. So in view books we can view the different books added by different uh, booksellers or the admin so the admin has authority to 
edit or delete the books under ad book seller so ad book sellers are nothing but the publications who publish the books the company name must be entered then the location or the address of the company must be entered so once the address is entered then the country and the state of the publication must be selected by the admin here the publications or the booksellers they do not have the registration option they must be manually added by the admin and the login id and password of theirs must be provided to them by the admin manually by selecting the country and the state then the contact number of the publication must be entered and the login id and password and the confirm password these are required because for the bookseller to log in to the portal so the valid login id and password and confirm password must be entered then choose profile or choose file that is the image so here the company logo must be uploaded then the status must be selected as active only if it is active the booksellers can log into the portal otherwise they cannot log into the portal so once it is added now let us add one more publication so we have added one publication already we will be adding one more publication so it is center for policy research it is the name of the company then their address then the state and country must be selected then the contact number must be entered and the login id password and confirm password is required so once the login id password and confirm password is entered then the image must be selected that is the company logo or the company image must be selected and then the status must be selected as active then clicking on submit the publication will be added successfully and this can be viewed under view booksellers by the admin so only the admin has the authority to view the various publications or the booksellers and admin can also edit and delete their details now let us add the administrator so admin can add the various other administrators to manage the web page so the name of the admin then the login id of the admin then password confirm password and the email id and contact number of the admin is required so by clicking on submit the admin details will be added successfully and under view administrator the various administrators can be viewed and edited as well as deleted by the admin under add category the different categories of books available in the portal can be added here so the name of the category and the description must be added clicking on submit the category will be added successfully let us add one more category that is a competitive exam then the description of the category must be entered then clicking on submit the category will be added here and under view category the various categories of the books can be viewed and if in case those type of books are not available or this particular category is not existing then it can be deleted or edited also by the admin under add author here the various authors must be added the name of the author
and then the description about the author that is uh, about the author any information regarding the author and the image of the author and the author status that is whether active or inactive that must be selected and clicking on submit the author details will be inserted so let us add one more author here so first author we were added was dr agarwal now we will be adding dr kulvinda pal he is the one who writes uh, the technical uh, technical books or uh, the books which are required for education in the field of technology then let us add the image of the author and select the author name oh, sorry the status and click on submit the author will be added and under view author the various authors can be viewed and it can be edited as well as deleted by the admin the more information if there is then the more information can be added here under by editing the author details so now let us log out from the admin now let us log in as the bookseller so the bookseller must log in using the login id and the password provided by the admin once they log in they can add the books here the name of the book must be entered first then the cover page of the book or cover image of the book the category of the book must be selected and then the author of the book must be selected then what is the language the book is written in then the demo copy that is the preview copy of the book must be uploaded then what is the price of the book and what is the discount available for the book then how many number of pages are present in the book then the description about the book and the type of the book must be selected so here we will be selecting ebook then the digital download link so since we have selected ebook we are getting this option digital download link because ebook means it is not the book which you get while ordering it is a soft copy of the book hand cover and paperback are the books which we get in a hard copy ebook is a soft copy for which the customer has to pay and then they can download the book copy here so select the status as active then click on submit so the book will be inserted and this can be viewed under view books so here the books can uh, book details can be viewed and we can see that stock status is not available for the ebook that is because there is no need of stock because only the book copy will be uploaded and the user or the customer will download it under change password they can change their passwords and in book seller profile they can update their profile details now let us log out from the uh, book seller and let us log in as the one more book seller so here let us add the new book so let us enter the name of the book the name of the book is modern approach to verbal and non verbal reasoning so select the cover page of the book and category of the book so it is a competitive exam book select the category then the name of the author here is dr r s agarwal then the language is english and here you have to choose the preview copy then the price of the book must be entered here and
then the number of pages in the book and the discount percentage of the book must be entered and then the product description must be entered and here the book type we are selecting is paperback that is because this is the book what uh, hard copy of the book what we get when we order so the number of delivery days must be selected and what is the stock status whether it is available or not available must be selected then clicking on submit will uh, add the book so under view books we can view the details of the book so here we can view the stock status is available and delivery will be done within the six days and in case if the book is not available then it will be deleted by the admin or the seller can also delete so let us log out from the seller and let us log in as the admin in the admin under view books now we can view the books added by the different publications the admin has the authority to delete or edit the book details whatever is entered now let us log out from the admin the readers or the customers can view the various categories of books and the newly added books are available in the home page itself the customers can also view the books based on the authors they can select the particular favorite author and they can view the books written by those authors and they can also view the price of the book and by selecting different category the books of that particular category can be viewed the new customers must make the registration to purchase the books the existing customers can log into the portal and purchase the books for the registration the customer must enter their first name last name and their date of birth then the email id password and confirm password must be entered by clicking on click here to register the registration will be done successfully once the registration is done then the customer can log into the portal by entering the email id and the password which they have provided at the time of a registration so once the customer logs in the customer panel is available and on the customer profile they can update their profile details and in change password the customer can make changes to their password by entering their email id followed by the password details by selecting the particular category they can view the books on the various categories and by clicking on the detail of the book the customer can view the complete details of the book here that is the type of the book category then uh, seller as well as the author and the language if they wish to buy the book they can add the quantity and add the product to the cart then they can also view the product description once the product is added to cart they can view it in the cart and here they can continue shopping or they can proceed to checkout if they want to continue shopping they they can view the other books and the book preview also can be viewed that is by selecting the particular book detail and clicking on view demo preview so once clicking on the demo preview here the certain pages of the book can be viewed by the reader so this will help the reader to decide whether they want to purchase the book or not because they can view the contents of the book here let us view one more book that is let us view the competitive exam category and let us view the book here by clicking on detail the details of the book can be viewed here and demo preview is also available then the description is also available to view here if the customer wants to buy then they can add the book to the cart by mentioning the 
quantity of books they want to purchase so here this is a book we have added to the cart so there are two books in the cart now let us proceed to check out now we can see the first book is ebook and the second book is paperback to make the shipping details here the shipping address must be added the customer must enter the shipping address then the country must be selected and the state must be selected so among the various countries available the customer must select their particular country they belong to or they want to order the book to and then the state must be selected then phone number and pin code once the shipping detail is added then they can select the shipping address in case if there are many address then they can choose one address among the addresses and the order details can be viewed here and the two options are there for payment one is cash on delivery and the other is card payment if you choose cash on delivery then uh, the confirmation code will be sent to the email id that email id code must be entered and then click to confirm must be clicked if you are choosing card payment then the card details must be selected here that is the type of the card number of the card that is card number here the 16 digit card number must be entered then the cvv number of the card is required the expiry date of the card that is the month and the year must be selected then click to make payment so here we can see that we have not entered 16 digit number so let us see the number is 16 digits then click to make payment so the payment is successful and the order is confirmed we can view the billing report so here we can view that the status that is delivery status is pending that is the book has not been delivered to the customer but the payment has been done so in the digital downloads here the ebooks can be downloaded once the payment is done by the customer they can view the ebook details in the digital downloads and they can download the books here in add shipping address the different shipping addresses can be added in case if there are many shipping addresses are there to add and under view shipping address the different shipping addresses can be viewed by the customer and they can also edit or delete the addresses whatever has been added by them so let us log out from the customer so now let us log in as the admin under admin login panel so here the admin must log in using their login id and the password once the admin logs in they can view the dashboard and in here the admin can view the purchase report so by clicking on view purchase report they can view the purchase report that is purchases made by different customers and they can also view the purchase status that is the payment status can be viewed and in the billing report they can view the delivery status that is we can view that the delivery status is pending for the customer who has purchased here the admin must update the delivery status so here now we can see that the item has been delivered now let us log out from the admin so now let us log in as the bookseller so by entering the email id and the password we have to log in as the bookseller so we can view the purchase report here the recent order report can be viewed here and the purchase status is payment is done under purchase report also we can view these details so what is the quantity of book purchased who is the customer who purchased the book on which date and what is the payment status all this can be viewed by the seller so let us log out from the seller and let us log in as the customer must enter the email id and the password of the customer 
and by clicking on submit the customer can log in but here the login id and password is invalid so let us enter the valid email id and the password so in the billing report the customer can view the delivery status as delivered before when we view it was pending now it is delivered so let us log out from the customer so this is about the project online bookstore thank you for watching the video for further queries kindly visit our web page thank you